Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here for a specially monthly edition of Let's Make Art Matter. What's that? We are going to be painting a fun little postcard. Ah, so exciting, we're going to be painting a cactus. But Let's Make Art Matter is our time to come together as a community to love on someone. You, if you watched our last month or our last one we did, we made postcards for our mail carriers. This time we are making a postcard for a specific person. And this person, or these, this family, their names are, actually I can show you a picture of them. These pictures are always helpful. So if you have our zine, if you flip to the, almost the back page, you will see a beautiful picture of the family that we are going to be mailing the postcard to. So this is Jack and the daughters Lydia and Claire and their mother Cassie. And Cassie passed away from an illness and so that's why we are sending this to honor her and send a little, a little art love to the dad and the two daughters. The really cool thing is that Cassie was an amazing woman. She was a kindergarten teacher and what she told her daughters all the time was this phrase that she would always say, make someone smile today. So I love hearing that and that's something that I want to remember her and say that as well back to you guys. So I thought that we're gonna make a smiley cactus for them and we're gonna mail this and send this off to them. So if you have our box, grab a, your postcard that will have a postage on the back and the address and so it's already ready to go. If you don't have that, you can cut up a postcard size and you can still join us and you can have an adult email us and we'll give you their address. So again, we are making this for them in honor of Cassie. Now, for this fun cactus, I actually wanted to bring Keenan up here. Oh snap. Oh snap. So Keenan is our film guy and we always like to introduce him and guess what he wore today. A cactus shirt. <laughs> I didn't even know. It's multiple. Actually, do you know that multiple cactus is cacti? Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, well, sort of. I would kind of say cactus. Cactus says. But it's cacti. Like so that mean. was so perfect hmm. that he was wearing all that. And I told him, I was like, we're going to do that. That's so perfect. So we're going to paint a fun cactus with, with some sunglasses and a bright, shiny face. Mine don't have any smiles. That's OK. Well, oh, we can draw them on there. Well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I might have been in a meeting. I don't know. <laughs> so to draw a cactus, so our guy has its body and then it has some fun arms that are like this. So you can either start with a pencil if you want to sketch this out first. I'm going to do that or you can go for it, but I'm going to do it first like that. So let's break it down for you. The first step is, is we're going to draw the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line, but then at the bottom, I'm going to kind of curve it. And then I'm going to draw another line and connect it. So that's the body. Then I'm going to draw the arms sticking out from it. So when I'm doing that is you can decide the height of them. So can you see how this one's a little bit taller than this one? So maybe what you do is I'm going to draw four lines. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna connect them to the body because our arms are connected to our body. So I'm gonna start here. Is this dark enough? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna curve it in because I want it to connect to the body. Do the same thing and curve that in. So I'm gonna do it over here. I'm gonna take the end and connect it to my body and connect it to my body. Then I'm going to draw the tops of these arms and I'm going to draw a, a curve. So it's kind of like a hump to it because these cactuses are round. So do that again. So I want to make this guy a little bit shorter. So let's end them right there. So like that. So that, now we have... That was very helpful. Oh, good. I'm glad yeah. on how to draw it. Thank you for breaking that down. <laughs> You're very welcome. Now that we have that, we are going to say our motto because now we're ready to paint. And so if everyone can raise your right hand and repeat after me, I am brave. I am brave. 
I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom! Now I feel in the zone. I'm ready to paint now. I have my green. So my cactus is a green. If you want to make it, you also, if you have our box, you have kind of a lime green. So you can pick any color that you want. I'm just gonna stick with this green. I have my brush and a cup of water. So to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dip in. I don't need too much, so I'm just gonna dip in and I'm gonna dip in about to the halfway to my brush. And if it drips, I'm just gonna scrape it off to the side a little bit. And I'm going to paint the entire thing. So because I'm right-handed, it's easier for me to start my, from my left and then move to the right. If you are left-handed, maybe you start from the opposite and you start from the right and you paint this way. That's just a little trick so that you aren't smearing so much. So I'm gonna start from the left side and I'm going to just kind of paint my left arm and because this is a wider brush, you might change the position of your way you're painting it. You can, it's up to you how you wanna use this. And the fun thing that is what I love is if you notice is I'm not trying to be so perfect about it because a cactus is prickly. And so it, if you look at it, it has some things poking out from it. So I re actually really like the texture that that's creating. I do too. So. I am going to move on, so I'm gonna to continue to my right, and I'm gonna dip. And again, I have my paint really close to me. It's not so far that I have to reach over for it. It's really close to me. So I'm gonna paint the body part. And you don't need too much paint. If you feel like you need more, you just, just dip. I just like to dip the tip of the brush in the paint. I'm gonna paint inside. Some cacti have fruit. Do you know that? Yes, the the um, the pink flower. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that was a fruit? No. Are you looking at it? I uh, am. Uh, I've actually eaten one before. You have? Not. Yeah, but I was in. Were you in survival? I mode? was in. <laughs> you were stranded in the desert with no tools. I mean, sometimes girls gotta do what girls gotta oh do. Oh my god. No, I was I was with someone who lives there, and I tried it. Don't recommend it. It was really weird. It was really weird. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna move on and actually, if you have pink, you can add a flower to it. That just made me think about it. I'm gonna paint the other side. Now, okay, that's our base. So now we have that done. I am not gonna be using the green anymore. So what I wanna do is I wanna close it back up and I'm going to clean my brush right away. So I'm gonna grab my cup of water. Mine's a little bit dirty because I was using it before. And I'm going to sweep the bottom of my cup to scrape it off. And I'm gonna grab a paper towel and clean it. So that way, I just, I did that, cleaned it up. That's good to go. Okay, now here's the thing, is that your painting might be a little wet, so Maybe this is a good snack break. Ooh, this would be a good snack break. Or you really lightly, is this nervous Fan to Fan it. Fan it. What if you blow on it? You can blow on it. Yeah. So that way, because we are going to be adding the prickly parts to it and the cool kid sunglasses, I want this to be fully dry. Might need to wait a little bit more. We're gonna call a snack break and then we'll be back. Woo -woo. Snack break. <laughs> okay, we are back from our snack break. I think I caught a little something something. Snacks. Little snacks. Little snacks. And we are going to now add our features to it. So you'll see that there's eyes and mouth and then the prickly part. So I'm gonna start with the sunglasses cause it's really hot outside. So we gotta give our cactus some shades to, to cover his eyes. Now to draw this, you can grab any pen that you have. You don't need to have this specific one. If you have our box, did you know that they came with this? 
I actually have just found out. <laughs> You'll have a little cactus, and it's actually a pen, so I'm going to use that. But again, you can use any black pen that you have. And so to draw our sunglasses, there's a few steps that I'm going to break down to help you do that. First one is, is I'm going to draw the left side, and then I'm going to draw the right side. So when I'm looking at my cactus, can you see how there's the middle of the cactus, or in the middle of the body? And the shade, both of them are kind of to the right and left of them. So I'm going to take the middle and I'm going to draw to the left of it. So I'm going to start kind of, and you can start outside of it, a little bit outside of your body. And you're going to draw a curve like that. And then we're going to, let's do the other side. So I'm going to go on the right side of this. So let's start about here because you'll notice that there's a connector to my shades. So I'm going to start about here and I'm going to draw another curve like that. So those are the top parts of my sunglasses. Then I'm going to draw the bottom parts. And so for this one, I'm going to also draw a curve, but actually I think what might be a little bit interesting is because my shades have a little bit of shape to them, is I'm going to draw two lines coming down like that. So they kind of curve in a little bit, and then I'm going to connect them at the bottom like that. So they're kind of rounded like that. But actually, if you want, if yours are just some cool circle glasses, you could also do that. So those are any shapes. So I drew my sunglasses. Now I'm going to connect them because you know when we wear sunglasses, there's a part that hits, sits on your nose. So we're going to connect that there and then I'm going to color this in. So I'm going to color my sunglasses in because this way it looks like these black sunglasses are sitting on top of my cactus. I think I'm coloring a little bit too fast. Let's see, there we go. So I'm going to color my shades in. Gosh, it's so cool. Sunglasses are all different shapes and sizes, so I'm excited to see what yours look like. There are some called aviators that pilots wear, and they're really cool. Those are really cool, too. Okay, so I colored my shades in. Now, the other part that is I'm going to use black for is I'm going to make the mouth because Cassie always said make someone smile today. So we want to add a very bright smiley face to our cactus to send to Lydia, Claire, and Jack. So I'm going to draw my smiley face. To do that is I'm going to draw a smile like that and you can leave it like that. Maybe you just want your smile to be like that. I'm going to make mine look like it's, <laughs> the mouth is open, it's really, really happy, so it's open. And so to do that is I'm going to draw from the bottom part. So this is the top part of my smile right now. And so I'm going to draw another bigger loop or a, a, a curve and it come down and connect like that. Then I'm going to draw one more line because that's the, the tongue. I guess you could make that pink too. If you have pink, maybe you make your tongue pink and you add a little yeah. flower to the top like Keenan was saying. What did the flower, actually I'm gonna draw the flower on top even though I don't have pink. Kind of like, is it kind of like that? Yeah. It kind of curves in, right? Flowers can look like anything. Yeah, that looks nice. So you can add a little flower to the top if you like. That's actually really cute. That is cute. I like that. Okay, now, so we did the black part. All we have to do now is we're gonna use the white. So grab any white that you have. I'm using the white paint pen. And so if this is your first time starting it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna shake it, count to about 10, open it, push it down on something that's not your final piece, push it down, hold about to 10 again, and then the paint should start to come out. If it doesn't, repeat one to two, times again through that cycle and it'll start to work. I already did that, so mine's ready to go. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. So I don't wanna smear so much because I think my hand might smear. So to help myself out, I'm gonna do the same thing as I'm gonna start from the left and go to the right because I'm right-handed. So if you're left-handed, again, start from the opposite of me. So I'm gonna start with the left arm and I'm going to add the spikes to it. So it's really fun when you're adding spikes 
is I am just drawing dash lines. And so what we're doing is we're drawing, thinking of an, an imaginary line that's starting from the top and connecting to the bottom. So you'll notice I didn't draw them just drawing straight down. I'm, I copied and I looked at this line right here and I drew it again, just mm. with a little bit of space in between. Did that I make see. sense? So I'm drawing line, line straight down and then I notice it curves in a little bit. So I'm just gonna curve my line a little bit like that. Nice. So then for these ones is, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna skip over my shades because the shades are in front. So I'm gonna draw my dash lines. Your lines can be any size. They can be really long, they can be really short. This is your painting. So I'm gonna draw those. So then also in my middle section, is that you'll notice on my sunglasses is they have these cool lines right here that add this highlight. So what that is, is if the sun is shining, the sun is shining, cactuses are in the heat and it's very sunny. All day. So when it's shining on there, it creates this, this little glimmer. So that's what we're gonna draw on our shades. So to do that, I'm just gonna draw a line and then another line. So I drew them kind of in the left corner, or yes, in a corner. It, yep. could, it doesn't matter which Either corner. Either side. Either side. I'm just drawing in the corner, and I'm just drawing two lines like that. Then I want to color in my mouth, and I realize you can decide maybe, if you have pink, maybe you make your, your tongue pink. I don't have pink right now, so I'm just gonna color that in as well. Then I'm gonna keep going, and I'm going to finish off my right arm. So the same thing is I'm going to, once I get to my connector, I'm gonna curve my lines in. and do that. Then, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> then you're done. Then you are done. So, we, yeah, that's the last step. The really fun thing is that now, like anything, this is your creation. You can make this however you want. If you wanna add a couple more flowers, if you wanna draw a, a really bright, shiny yellow sun, you can add that in, which, if you have our zine, you'll see that there's a, a coloring sheet that I made for you. So you can draw this similar type of scene if you want on your card. Nice. There's so many different ways you can take this. What I want you to do also is if you have this specific card, so you have your painting that you did, flip it over and you'll notice that their address is here. And then right here, just write a little note. Just say, maybe you write, you made me smile today or something about smiles. And you can just write smile really big, draw a smiley face. They will feel the, the heart that you put into this painting. And you know what I wanna tell you, that is what makes this world go around, is all of us reaching out to each other, smiling at one another, and spreading joy. So thank you so much for being here on behalf of Keenan and I and Let's Make Art. This community is so great and we love having you, our little artists here painting with us. So. Don't forget to put this in the mailbox and spread joy to everyone. See you guys later.